It's been a busy first half of the season for the Prince George Cougars, who have been actively supporting children and families in Prince George. To date this season, the Cougars organization has spent over 300 hours in the community, partnering with sponsors, nonprofit organizations, and local schools. Um, I don't really know. I think mostly the... The Cougars organization turned out to assist with fundraising efforts for Raise a Reader Day, the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation CIBC Run for the Cure, and the Prince George Hospice Society's Halloween Spooktacular. It's from an angel halfway. While the rest of the team was on a seven-game road trip in early November, several injured players visited the Prince George Regional Hospital Pediatrics Unit to interact with young hockey fans. Late November and early December saw Cougars players visiting 13 elementary classes to promote reading through the Breakaway for Books reading program, a partnership between the Cougars, the Prince George Free Press, and Panago. <laughs> In addition, the players stayed true to their roots, challenging students at Harwin Elementary School and then youth at the Prince George Youth Custody Center to games of floor hockey. The entire team also joined members of the Prince George Minor Hockey Association on ice during the Kinsman Skateathon on November 29th. Most recently, the organization has focused on the annual Cougars Christmas campaign. Cougars fans were able to catch the players at A&A Gourmet on Thursday, December 3rd, where they helped out to raise money for Big Brothers Big Sisters of Prince George. The same day, a separate group of players participated in the Salvation Army Christmas Kettle campaign, collecting donations at Pine Center Mall. Last week, Cougars Vice President Brandy Brodsky and other staff were recognized by the Native Court Worker and Counseling Association of BC, the Crisis Center of Prince George, and Jump On Board Youth Employment Services for the organization's ongoing contributions to support youth in the community. When we initially started our project with you, I really do feel that the Prince George Cougars are ambassadors to our youth in the city, and we would like to thank them by hosting a luncheon today and acknowledge your ongoing support. These are kids that don't have money for the bus. Sometimes they don't even have food for two or three days. They don't have a place to live. They don't have any support systems. But when they go to those games, this young man said to me, I feel like a normal person. I'm there with everyone else and they don't know that I'm there free. I feel like I belong again. And you can't buy self-esteem, but you can invest in it. And I would say that the Prince George Cougars have made a 100,000% investment in our team. Our team at Jump On Board, our team of all our clients, our team of our partners. Ambassadors to our city. Thank you so Thank much. Fans can look forward to a continued Cougars presence in the community in 2010. For Cougars TV, I'm Amy Erickson.